beware when God announces favor on you because it always doesn't look like it. The moment he told Mary you are highly favored, it was trouble that followed her from that time. The scandal of managing an issue with a suspect that will have to be a rabbi. You can't say a ghost made me pregnant. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's more polite to say I don't know how, what happened. Imagine explaining to intelligent people that a ghost made me pregnant. And I am pregnant but I, I, I confess I'm still a virgin. The people are already angry that you are pregnant out of wedlock. You manage the situation by silence, not explaining that honestly, God is my witness, I'm still a virgin. Yet God calls that favor. Ah, God calls trouble, catastrophe in your life, favor. Your the man who a responsible man, a carpenter, about to get married to you, you are losing your marriage. God still calls it favor. He said you are highly favored not just favor mm. could it be that what you are going through is favor that god is saying it's a privilege because there is monetary value in that pain you are going through you will get to a point where only whoever has gone through that pain can stand where you stand there are rankings in the spirit there is a pain factor like a ladder there are times you will stand somewhere the condition to stand there is pain who has gone through that level of persecution and you check around and find out no one within your vicinity and God says you stay there that is an exalted position that God brought you he calls it favor there are times you will share a story that people will wish they had your background so that they can receive the honor but they are too innocent to receive that kind of honor they can't lie that their school fees were paid by themselves everything just worked well for them so your pain today you say lord what are you doing and god says it's my way of favoring you i'm giving you a testimony that is so rare you must learn to interpret the happenings in your life from the lens of the spirit remember the conference these are matters of the spirit so as a man of god you get up with a lot of zeal to start a church and you find out that they drive you away and say no mr man you are not starting that church and he said lord i thought you anointed me and he says that's favor you keep watching because it is because of that one testimony that many people will invite you not even because of your anointing when they hear the pain you have got the, you, the, your pain qualifies you to speak to kings not everything that looks negative is demonic we have to be men of the spirit to discern Joseph is in the pit and God calls it progress how do you explain being in a, a dry well as progress and the brothers sell him the Ishmaelites sons of perdition take a child of promise off to Egypt any other person would not take him to Egypt Egypt was his place of destiny and he got there Joseph did not know that that pain was the preservation of a nation. Even the Messiah was in the loins of that pain. Joseph gets to Egypt and then it looked like things were going on well. And all of a sudden here comes this woman coming to create trouble for him. He was trusting that one day maybe during the pharaoh's birthday they will release some prisoners and here is a woman who comes to scandalize him and say this young man tried to rape me and pharaoh gets angry and says okay i've given you some privileges ah, jesus you will be surprised that is because they drove you from that house rent that you were on your way going and you collided with the person and, and, and if you were smiling that person would not stop to listen to you it was because you were frowning he said what happened you said they drove me he said do you have a job he said no he said meet me tomorrow so that frown was favor if you were smiling you just say bless you see you in church was was it not because of a a disturbing dream that interpretation started if the dreams gave them joy joseph had nothing to do they were always in the prison there 
but Joseph looked at their countenance and he said something is wrong with you your your pain is calling for my ministry and he said tell me he said we had a dream a, a nasty dream and he begins to laugh and destiny is colliding yet Joseph just knows a man look I'm sure Joseph will tell him let me interpret and tell you my own predicament here hmm. I saw the sun the moon 11 stars bowing and you would think it will happen by Jacob I mean carrying uh, Joseph one day and saying everybody here is a destiny child no the path to favor and the path to greatness is seldom done in a way listen and God conceals it like this so that Satan himself will not know I will teach you in the night this strategy is what is called the hidden wisdom of God that not even the princes would know God conceals you the same strategy was used for Moses because when they began to kill people they put Moses in a basket and he was in Egypt if he was known Satan will make sure how can you be in the center of witchcraft and yet not known the mystery called the hidden wisdom of God the Bible said it was kept for our glory that's how we find glory so when that dimension of hidden wisdom comes, even you can't explain what is happening in your life. That's why we walk by faith. If everything about your life can be explained, it's a sign that God is not with you. There will be many gaps. Let me tell you the truth. It's true. A time must come when they say, what exactly is happening to you? And you say, honestly, if I know all, I'm lying all i know is i love god all i know is the dreams and the visions i see all i know is that i go to bed and i see myself laying hands on people all i know is that i i see myself heading a conglomerate is so big i'm ashamed to say it watch this the hidden wisdom of god is doing something in your life you may not know it i'm inspiring you it may not look like it but something is happening to you you are highly favored and a scandal comes to you and that scandal begins to push you to do certain things one day 11 the sun moon 11 stars will bow to you and here is the young man in a cave a dungeon the bible says then he sees the wine presser and the buckler and interprets his dream and then it happens that way and he said do you know that whether joseph inter joseph did not prophesy so whether he interpreted the dream or not it would have happened anyway but it would have happened and joseph would not be remembered the privilege of interpretation was what connected him to what was going to happen and the man forgot him and after two years god said it's now time for that prophecy to come to pass someone is going through something now that you cannot explain and by every standard you cannot explain every time you pray it looks like what happens is god where are we going now people ask you why did you come to lagos you say i, I i'm not even sure was it, it i think i was coming to check somebody and just cry my heart that's how i got here oh, the lord says favor listen to me i'm inspiring you men will laugh at you but tomorrow the sun the moon and 11 stars must bow you don't look like it now sometimes they will call you and say you are you are a useless child i've always known that this you're seeking god you've been a graduate for five years acting like a fool behaving stupid and you go back to god with that report and god is silent i want you to know that when god is silent learn to hear the voice of silence silence is a voice it speaks when god is silent he's saying something are we together now that's my inspiration we walk by faith not everything in your life can be explained and if you allow carnal men to help you interpret your life they will take you out of Egypt to go and meet your father, which will look like a testimony, but then you would have aborted the throne. If someone wanted to help Joseph, will he help him to meet Pharaoh? No. If someone wanted to help Joseph, he would try to smuggle him out back to Jacob. And Jacob would say, thank you, you've given me my son, but Israel will die. 
Jacob will die. The covenant will never work. Beware of those who love you too much to allow you get to the place of destiny. There are people who love you too much. They look at what you are going through and it looks like they, they, they love you too much. They will suggest and say, is, is it worth it? We can go back. And someone is almost there. And the devil will try to use, you know, Satan can use positive attributes about people to still destroy you. Satan can use a man's compassion to be a weapon against you. Look at what happened to Peter. No, Jesus, I, I, I love you. I mean, it was the compassion of Peter that was being used by Satan. And Jesus said, no, if you don't, if you are not a man of the spirit, you say, Jesus, you are harsh. What kind of person are you? Get thee behind me, Satan. That's not compassion. He's taking the vulnerability of Peter and using it to manipulate Jesus away from the cross. Listen, pass through whatever you have to pass through knowing that although it may not make sense it is still called favor favor is not always positive and worthy of laughter and celebration at first there are pathways my brothers and my sisters that is so rare god is passing you you are walking your way to your sabbath by the time you get to that dimension you will sit in a seat that no power can take back the pain is a track record There are men today, the only thing prospering them is their stories, not their new revelation. They go all around the world continually, inspiring people with a story they've been saying for many years. And you'll be wondering, are you not tired of this story? The question is, who else has that kind of story? Until they find a worthy replacement for that story, that man remains at the top. But when he was passing through that story, he would never have known that that story had monetary value. Whenever they are organizing a conference that requires someone with that kind of track record, they search around. They are tired of inviting him. Every year they are inviting him, but the question is who else? Joseph said, let the king search for a man who is discreet and wise. He was daring the king. I dare you, search Egypt if you will find a man with my track record. He was just using a polite way to dare him. I dare you, search if there is any man who has been scandalized in Egypt. Search if there is any man who has had the pain of rejection from, from his brothers. Search if there's any man who has understood the pain of being, of being innocent yet on the ground. And the king said, there is no man. Immediately, not later. Ah, immediately, my brothers. Let hope, let it rise. Please rise upon your feet. Darkness trembles in your home. Just sing this song one more time and we pray. Hey, let hope darkness trembles in your own. Hold the hands of someone close to you and just pray in one minute and say, Lord, perfect what you are doing in my life. It may not make sense, but grant me the grace and the insight in the spirit to know that in the spirit all things can work for the good of them that love the Lord and those who are the called according to his purpose give me a correct interpretation of the happenings in my life let me not abort my journey to greatness that you have called favor but the world around me is calling weakness the world around me calling it defeat the world around me calling it an, a, an instrument of shame. Help me see that my joblessness can be the favor that makes me an entrepreneur. Help me see that the disappointments that I've had in relationships may be the platform for the ministry God is calling me into.
Thank you for being a part of our broadcast. You know, we never like to end without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Coming into Christ is beyond joining a church, is beyond a religion. It is joining God's family. And that is done when you believe in Christ Jesus. So I just want to lead you right away now. If you, are, if you want to give your heart to Christ, just say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died and rose again and that you paid for my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior, and from today I belong to you. If you have said those words, we'll be late, you are born again, you are part of God's family right now, you can go ahead and rejoice about it. And if you want to contact us, just check the addresses written on the screen. God bless you. We love you. Stay blessed.